Hello and welcome to another Planet of Destiny weapon review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Hunter exclusive exotic weapon, the Ace of Spades. You get it from getting rank 3 with the gunsmith and completing the quest he gives you. The weapon can only be used by Hunters, so sorry to all those Titans and Warlocks that were wanting a really good hand cannon. So let's go over the stats and perks real quick. It's in the same archetype as Fatebringer, or its Taken King counterpart, the Imago Loop. Fun fact, the Ace of Spades and Imago Loop have the exact same base stat, so if you're wanting a legendary counterpart to this exotic, go try and get that one from Running Strikes. For the perks, you get Third Eye unlocked right off the bat, which will keep your radar active when aiming down sights. Obviously, this really helps for those that concentrate on PvP, since an always active radar will help with target acquisition and just general game awareness. In PvE, it helps you get those headshots so you know which way to look for a close-by enemy without releasing the weapon from your sights. For muzzles, you have your choice between True Sight IS, a flexible sight that has good recoil control and strong target acquisition. Second is Quick Draw IS, an agile sight with increased handling, and the final sight is Steady Hand IS, which is optimized for recoil control. I pretty much exclusively use the True Sight IS since it helps increase the aim assistance. If you're more comfortable with using one of the other sights, then by all means use it, as hand cannon sights don't really do as much as rifle sights, just minor stat changes. The next perk is a hand cannon favorite, Firefly. Precision kills will cause your target to explode. If you enjoyed using Fatebringer, then Ace of Spades will feel at home to you due to this. It makes short work of Taken Scion Flayers, and it's probably one of the best perks to have on weapons in the Taken King due to enemies spawning in tight groups out of blights. For the stat mod perks, you have your choice between High Caliber Round, which causes the weapon shots to stagger enemies, but reduces the weapon handling. Perfect Balance, which increases the weapon's stability, and finally, Reinforced Barrel, which will increase the range at the cost of stability. Again, this is a very easy choice. Perfect Balance ends up taking the stability to the perfect place on the weapon, making every engagement a simple act of aiming. A lot of hand cannons in the Taken King have you fighting with low recoil and rough recoil patterns. With Perfect Balance on the Ace of Spades, it just makes the gun a dream to shoot, so much so that the other perks just don't really make any sense to pick. Increasing the range would be great with Reinforced Barrel, but it tanks your stability. High caliber rounds is nifty, but what would you rather have, effortless shooting or the chance to stagger enemies? The choice is simple in my eyes. The final perk is Maverick, which causes precision kills to take one round from reserve and place it in the magazine. So if you're one-shotting mobs, you'll effectively never have to reload your weapon. So now that we know the perks on this gun, let's examine how it performs in PvE and PvP. In PvE, this gun is just solid. Outside of Hawkmoon, it's the best exotic hand cannon to use in PvE, and I feel very comfortable saying that. Firefly is an awesome perk to have on any hand cannon since you're always wanting to aim for the head anyway. This helps clear ads and will also proc the Maverick perk, essentially giving you an endless supply of ammo. If you're familiar with using Fatebringer, then this gun will feel right at home on your radar. Instead of getting a blindingly fast reload from Outlaw like on Fatebringer, you just get a round refunded. The only bad thing about this gun that I can think of in PvE is that it has low ammo reserves. This of course comes mostly from the hand cannon nerf of 2.0 that took down the reserve ammo across all hand cannons. You only have 65 rounds total in this gun, which means that you can easily go for a stretch without finding any primary ammo and then end up being in a pretty big bind. To combat this, you can get a chest piece that has hand cannon ammo, but then you're missing out on more ammo for your special weapon. In pretty much every case, you want to always be getting special ammo increase on your armor, since you need that ammo to do more damage in a pinch. You shouldn't have to increase the ammo for the weapon you primarily use because of a nerf, when every other primary weapon type in the game can essentially be used without the worry of running out of ammo. Back to the actual review though, the gun handles exactly like Fatebringer, so it's going to one-shot pretty much every tier 1 mob and do pretty impressive damage to tier 2 mobs, not to the point where you won't need a secondary weapon, but you can switch to it if a beefier mob is low and you need help landing the kill shots. It's kind of underrated, but it's cool to have an always active radar in PvE as well. It makes aiming down the sights all the time a breeze so you can prioritize those precision shots. There's not much else I can say about the weapon in PvE. It's simply a solid, solid weapon that I'm kind of sad that only hunters can use. It feels like the strongest PvE hand cannon out there right now. In PvP, this gun has everything a hand cannon user would ever want. An always active radar, good aim assist, and a 10 round magazine. You also have the option of going for high caliber rounds in PvP. The base stability is fine and doesn't really need to be buffed for the engagements that hand cannons will be good in. I still went with stability from perfect balance because it helps me maximize damage with its rate of fire. 
This is pretty much a choice that comes down to the individual user though. Some people like the increased flinch that high caliber rounds can use and others prefer stability. For damage, this gun will kill in 3 headshots or 4 body shots. The aim assistance of 66 helps with landing those headshots as well. While it isn't rated in the highest for that stat, it's still just in the right spot to help out those mid-range battles. Due to the hand cannon range nerf though, you won't be landing any long range shots due to that aim assist either. Outside of medium range, this gun will be pretty ineffective. Fortunately, that actually makes it a good companion to a sniper. It works at a slightly better range than the last word, so if you only have Ace of Spades, then it's a perfect alternative to that exotic. For cosmetics, it's actually a pretty normal hand cannon model. The paint job is entirely white with a namesake spade painted on it. The sound is also extremely similar to the first curse, with a hefty metallic sound behind it. The best part about it though is that it has the signature pistol spin as you pull it out. I never get tired of seeing that. So I know I said this quite a few times about the gun, but it's just a solid weapon. It's rather unfortunate that hand cannon class got nerfed so hard in 2.0 because this would be an absolutely stellar weapon in the older patch. Right now, I really believe that it shares the king hand cannon spot with Hawkmoon. While Hawkmoon will be doing more damage and is better for pumping out damage into higher health mobs, Ace of Spades can easily churn through tier 1 enemies without ever having to reload. In PvP, the inclusion of the third eye perk makes it a great companion to any sniper or hunter who just wants a reliably good mid-range weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.